Hi everybody and welcome. <clears throat> Pardon me. We have a reading here right now for a uh, sign of Aries, sun, moon, rising, the week of June the 25th through July the 2nd, approaching the holiday. Everyone be careful out there, travel safely if you're going out and about. Now, let's see what we've got. Quick note, <clears throat> I've got sale prices going on right now at my website. So if you want a reading meant just for you, your life, your questions, concerns, your birth sign information, reach out to me through my contact form at my website. I'll leave the link here on the page. So <clears throat> at the end of this also, the end of this reading, I'm going to be throwing a reading that focuses just on your love life, Aries, and we'll take a look at that too. But that's at Vimeo, and are we just about ready? I don't know. Maybe we are. Let's take a look. Ah, itch. That should be telling me something, but it isn't. It's I have itchy skin. <laughs> it's that time of year. I always get a histamine reaction from the pollens that are so dense where I live. So here we go. Eight of cups. I'm not even going to mention anything about that until I see what this is really all about. King of Pentacles, the Hermit, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Seven of Wands. So I'm not really quite sure. Looks to me like some changes coming in your work, your financial situation. I think it's a change, but it's a change you've been thinking about making for a while. Um, comes from sort of this uh, romantic idea that you have around the way... It's a weird message, right? It's rom You have this romantic ideal around something you've been wanting to face for a while. What a weird message. I don't know where that's coming from. <clears throat> Let me think for a second. I want to try to focus. I'm mostly focused on the hermit here because the hermit could be the one walking away from this disappointment here. And that's usually what the Eight of Cups is. It's usually that walking away. The Hermit does it, but he does it reflectively. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, they're both moving forward too. One moves away emotionally and the other one searches for something better as far as home, security, sometimes family, um, sometimes he ventures on to find a better place to live, something you've been considering for a while. So there are changes coming around Aries, but I think for you, you might just be moving, maybe acquiring a smaller house because the king... He moves into a night. So if you're thinking about moving, you may be looking to downsize. Um, <clears throat> if you're looking to change jobs, you may have to go into a new company, but at a lower position, something more entry level. <clears throat> if this is a job, for some of you, it's an entrepreneurship. It's... Uh, connected to a very small beginning in what feels to me like a pretty large company. 
So some of you may be looking at that possibility. Um, the Seven of Wands, though, really faces the struggle, faces opposition, faces obstacles. And I want to say that you're probably over the struggle, whatever that was here. Whatever this disappointment was, I think it's definitely connected to the struggle here. Um, something, again, I'm going to say that this guy is more about self-satisfaction than anything. So there is an element that you're pretty much satisfied with the decision to walk away from something. Um, I think if you're changing career, you're up for the challenge, you're up to face the opposition, and you're ready to push forward. <clears throat> um, and uh, by the way, this was also, oh, can you see it? This is also <laughs> on the bottom, too. Um, here we have the fool taking a chance. And we have the Page of Pentacles. So the changes coming for you, you know, you feel like a brand new person once you decide to move forward. And there's a sense that this new path you're on, whether it's at an entry level in a new company, or it's you venturing on and taking the chance and becoming your own boss, you're really facing the obstacles head on. <clears throat> I don't feel a sense of fear. I do feel a sense of satisfaction and gratification for uh, what you've achieved. I think there's a pride in what you've achieved. And there's more than anything, it's about how successful you can become under all of this. Stay in the mode of the hermit. Reflective, honest. He does everything for the greater good. <clears throat> He's no fool. He knows that the things that he does and the changes that he makes in his life are going to be for the better betterment of everyone. And so he keeps himself open to all of these improvements knowing that he may have to step back into a less challenging position or more challenging, actually. If you're starting out on the ground floor of something again, it's really going to be more challenging, right, than not. So I'm going to correct that statement because I think you're really... With this, you may actually be facing a lot more challenge in what it is that you're doing. But you're up for it. You're up for it. It feels like a chance. It feels like there's some risk in it. As if you are starting your own business. There's a sense of justice in what you're undertaking, Aries, some of you. And honestly, this is you. Or no, this is Libra, sorry. But it still represents the, the, justif the, the justification of what you're doing. Like I said, it's about the justification in what you're doing, whether you're moving to a better work situation. There's movement here for sure for some of you, but you're leaving the what was difficult or what was challenging behind. Now we've got the um, most significant transformation energy in the deck with the death card. And the death card, oh, Jesus, I'm going to show you the tower. So, 
there's some really transformative things coming for some of you Aries. You can be looking forward to life changes, home changes. We're going to take a look and see if your love life is transforming. Some of you are definitely leaving a questionable, maybe even hurtful, painful period in your life behind. And there's more success. It feels like some of you may have to step back a little bit and start over maybe on the ground floor or have to stay, step back and, and take a, maybe even a cut in pay, which is possible here. But that chance just brings you to a transformation in what you're doing. And it can bring you back to making a really good financial. Somebody just nudged me and said earthquake. It's like a financial earthquake. What you do is you just rattle your entire financial situation and it causes the restructuring of your life. That's what I get from the word earthquake. It's going to shift and change your foundation, but for the better, but we've got a lot of transformation here. And we've got a karmic connection. You could be repeating karma in your life. We might be able to get that from your love reading. I don't know what's going to come from that reading. But Aries, this looks like you're making changes. All in all, what you're looking at right now may be the potential of this thing happening. This is one week's time for somebody. It's a lot going on and you may just... Be in the process of the situation, whatever it is. If you are, let me know. Um, <clears throat> but there's changes, 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 changes. And a lot of it is new for you. A lot of it is uncharted territory, and it's going to shake up your world. Uh, it's big changes coming for some of you. Aries, and I'm going to go and I'm going to look at your love life. Maybe we'll get something over there. And uh, until next week, reach out to me if you need. Take care. Be well, Aries, and peace.